What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with a quick um, hot take, quick review for a show that I kind of watch on and off but enjoy quite a bit and that's the Tim Allen show Last Man Standing. So in season 9, um, or on season 9 episode 2, we have him playing two roles that he's, or playing himself, or playing the role he normally plays in the show, but against his prior role as Tim Taylor, the Tim the Toolman Taylor from Home Improvement. So um, I saw a promo of the sh um, episode that um, they were going to do that, and I, since I like the show and I haven't had a chance to watch the episode yet, I thought I would give it a watch to um, see how it is, see if I enjoyed it, find it funny, or and all that, the usual stuff for the show. So I want to say that overall the episode was very well done. Um, we have him playing both roles much as much how you would expect, and um, there's really not much to say in the role. I mean, um, we have it's kind of him. Um, T working with his conscience to get a vlog out for the 10 year anniversary of the vlog he does in the show for Outdoor Man. And overall that part was well done, but I did like that they um, included a tribute to Wilson from Home Improvement because I guess the actor passed away if memory serves. So I like that and that he finds it easier to talk to someone who's standing behind a fence. So they did it well and they made it uh, funny as well. and. I like that they threw in a little nod at the end that one of the things that they could, or the, one of the ways to improve yourself by, is to always try to do something better and better and never settle. And they made it f sound like they were going to do a tease that home improvement would be coming back. So I don't know if that's just something they, as a gag they did for the show or if it's actually their way of doing it. But in any case, the episode is worth watching. Um, and I recommend giving the episode a watch just because it's one of those things where if you like, a, an actor playing double roles. This is one of those situations where they did it very well. And I mean, they have the technology now, so I'm sure Tim Allen did it himself and they did like a camera flip or some camera trickery to have um, um, him play both roles very easily. So um, nothing as far as I could tell that was anything unusual or weird about it, but that's kind of all I wanted to jump in to say was that it was um, well done, funny, humorous, lighthearted, and um, definitely a show or definitely an episode that is high up on the list, especially since um, I guess this is going to be one of the or this is going to be the last um, season of the show, I guess. So that's really all there is for that. And then actually also before I forget, they made a little in joke that um tim taylor is now work for binford tools or is working for binford tools so um there's that and one of the things that i'm thinking about now is that um tim allen as matt as mike baxter was wearing a flannel shirt so a little subtle nod there to al from home improvement so the show is rife with a lot of home improvement tie-ins so if you enjoyed Home Improvement or you enjoyed Last Man Standing or you enjoy both, this is going to definitely be an episode that is enjoyable to watch. So that's all there is for this review. As I mentioned, it's going to be pretty quick. It's a 22-minute episode, so not too much to say there. Um, they had a little bit of a side story with the kids um, as far as comic books go and um, a little bit of our, light, our topic on um, the through line of comics on who stu took stuff from who or that um it's not really a matter of um similarities and stories it's that like, sometimes people have ways of honoring other works by creating their own spin on it or doing it their own way so it's not really a matter of one comic is better than another or one show is better than another it's that or even that they're copying each other it's more of this is this might be their own spin on it so an interesting story side story there as well so that's all there is for this review so if you have any questions comments concerns or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is patel n01.com for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning in and until next time